Hello friends, today we will learn about how we can declare variables in Java programming language. As we have discussed there are primitive and non-primitive data types in Java programming language. Today we will learn how we can declare variable of primitive data type in Java programming language. Here we are declaring a variable and its name is base and its type is int. So this is the style of declaring a variable in Java programming language that first you have to define the type of variable as you can see here its type is int and then you have to give the name of that variable and we are saying it is base. Now what is happening as we know that in Java for int type variable 4 bytes are allocated to that variable. It means that 4 bytes has been allocated to this variable base. But what memory is allocated? to this base variable, let's talk about it. A special portion of RAM is allocated to JVM Java Virtual Machine for its usage of program. That portion of RAM which is allocated to Java Virtual Machine is called as heap space. Then this heap space is further divided into two parts, stack memory and heap memory. In stack memory, values of variables are stored and in heap memory, values of objects are stored. As here you can see, we have a stack memory and this blue portion, it holds data of primitive variables and reference variables. We will talk about reference variables in our upcoming lectures. And this portion is available and it could be allocated to values of primitive data type. Here what we are doing? Here we are declaring a variable base of type int and as you can see that 4 bytes are reserved for int variables. So these 4 bytes 1, 2, 3 and 4 are allocated to this variable base. And now we are initializing this base variable with value 8. So this 8 value will be stored in this memory and this memory is available and it could be allocated to other variables. Here you can see we are declaring variable base but its type is double and as you know for double we have to allocate 8 bytes so these 8 bytes are allocated to this variable base and we are storing a value 8 or we can store any bigger value in this base variable. Here we have a problem we have to calculate area of rectangle and as we know that area of a rectangle is base into height we will do programming and will declare variables and calculate area of rectangle. Let's start it. Here in sublime text editor, go to file and new file. Here we will write class and you know syntax for writing a class is public class calculate area and C letter will be capital. This is syntax of Java curly braces. Now we will save it in calculate area dot Java file. And name of public class and file should be same as it is here. Here we will give multi line commit. Commits are very important in programming language as it will help you understand the function of a class or a chunk of code and when you in future consult that code you can easily understand its function by reading commits. So provide commits when you are writing piece of code. Class to calculate area of rectangle and area of rectangle is base into height. Now we will close these multi line commits. Here we will write our main method public static void main string square brackets orgs and then curly braces. We should have base and height to calculate the area. So first we will declare a variable of type int and its name will be base. Then we will declare another variable of type int and its name will be height. Then we will declare another variable and its name will be area of rectangle. Now as declaration has been made, 4 bytes for base, 4 bytes for height and 4 bytes for area of rectangle has been allocated from stack to these variables. Now we will initialize these variables by putting values. In base we will put value 8, height is 10. And here we will put area of rectangle value and as you can see area of rectangle is base into height. 
we will multiply these two variables and will save the value in this area of rectangle variable base and for multiplication we have to use steric base into height we will talk about this multiply operators and other operators in our upcoming lecture. now we will print the area of rectangle on screen first we will print a line on console area of rectangle this will be printed now we will print this variable area of rectangle which holds product of base into height First this line will be printed and then area of rectangle a variable will be printed on new line and it is product of base into height. We will save it. Now go to folder where you have saved it. Press Ctrl, Shift and right click here and open command window here. Now we will first compile our program then we will run it. To compile we will use Java C, Java compiler C, press tab, calculate area.java file. Now press enter and here you can see we have successfully compiled our program. It means that we don't have any syntax error and so far we are going good. Now we will run this Java program and to run the program we know the command is Java calculate area without extension. And great friends here you can see we have printed the area of rectangle and its value 80 has been printed on the console. Congratulations, you have successfully calculated the area of rectangle and you have printed it on the console. First we have printed string area of rectangle and then we have printed area of rectangle variable on the console. And here you can see we are giving this area to print ln method and this value 80 it is product of base into height. We will learn more about java programming language in our upcoming lectures subscribe to park courses to get updates for upcoming java courses and if you guys like this video and you want to help community to understand concept of variables and how memory is allocated in java you can share this video with your friends and community thank you for your time